Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. So when I was meditating on this uh, month's reading for you, I saw two images. So I'm going to relay the images while I pull out the cards. Okay. So the first one here is, um, I see this woman, she's got a straw hat on and she's uh, dithering in the garden. She's, um, she's digging, she's planting, she's taking really care of her plants. And I, I feel at one point she's, um, plucking caterpillars from the plant so that they don't destroy the, the flowers. Okay. So it's a fruit um vegetable flowers type of a garden and um people around her are just like why are you always in your garden why are you always you know there like how how is that um i guess like how is that exciting how is that fun so people just don't get it but she's just like oh this is just what i do this is my pastime and then like it fast forwards to a few months and um this big really tall sunflower kind of sprouted up um and it has like a cartoon face on it almost like an emoji face it's it's happy it's it's really big it's really tall it's towering over the tomato plants and uh she's really happy she comes out and gives it soil or gives it like more nutrients and then the people around her are just like wow that's pretty cool and then other people come in with wheelbarrows and i, I think like they see the um they see the merits in gardening or they see that what you were doing they might have been naysayers at the beginning but now they're starting to see it bear fruit and they're like i want to do that too so people come in with wheelbarrows and they start plowing the land and they start you know creating their own garden pa uh, patch of fruit and garden and flower plants and uh, the second thing that i saw was um i see this waterfall and it's a really big um, really strong big waterfall and there's a balcony built where spectators can go and look at the waterfall and I see this woman she's standing there pensively looking at this waterfall and you know how when the waterfall kind of um, I guess like hits the surface of the water at the bottom once it falls down and it hits the surface it creates like a mist because of the force in which it uh, falls down and so she's just there kind of um, enjoying the mist. It feels nice and she, it, it feels like a very, very cleansing um, experience for her. And so that's what I, I feel here. So I feel like, you know, with these two images, the big meaning or the big keyword for the month of March is pretty much about things coming to fruition, things that you have been working really diligently on, they're coming to fruition, as well as this sense of emotional clarity that's coming into the picture, okay? So like a, a really strong cleansing type of energy, uh, um, it's almost like you don't have to push against the tide anymore. People are on board with you. People are seeing the value in the things that you are doing, and people are recognizing that they're they're starting to understand you and they're recognizing why you do the things that you do and you do it because you know there you, you see there's merits in it and you also know that there's meaning to it and so they they might have you know come out of the woodworks the naysayers might come out of the woodworks and tell you you know don't do that do this instead but i feel like you stuck to your course okay you got things moving so it's almost like you know moving this big boulder up the mountain and once you get it up the mountain it, 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 it was a very very arduous task once you get it up the mountain you can knock it over and it will snowball out of control through the other side so the big legwork the the majority of the legwork is already done and now you can pretty much kick back your feet and you know enjoy the fruits of your labor so that's what I'm, I'm feeling here so this is a big culmination type of a month this is a month in which you start to see the end result and you start to see that all the effort all the energy everything that you put in is bearing fruit and so you don't have that self-doubt anymore you have this process where you can, you know, um, have a little bit more leisure time where you can really enjoy life, where you don't feel like you have to push so hard against 
people that might have differing agendas or you don't have to doubt yourself like am i doing the right thing um is all this work going to you know pan out the way that i'm hoping for i'm investing a lot of time a lot of resources possibly a lot of energy into this situation and you're getting confirmation that something you know it, it, it's the right path it is the right thing to do and it has been the right course of action all along and so you don't have to doubt yourself any longer okay so we're gonna get a few cards out and you've got an extra one that fell out okay so Let's talk about the energy for this month. Um, I usually look at the central, um, the two central cards just to see like, th this is what anchors the reading for me. So we have here the Knight of Cups and the Lovers, okay? Um, so first of all, I'm feeling here, well, if you're dealing with a water sign for, for sure, um, the water sign is showing up in two people. So we have here the Knight of Cups as well as the King of Cups. Okay, so water signs, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And this spread is a lot more about your emotional state, your feelings, as well as your love relationships. Um, first of all, if you're dealing with a water sign, I definitely feel like there has been a period of uh, waiting, okay? I feel almost like you're putting in a lot of the work in order to maintain this relationship, in order to juggle your this relationship, maintaining the relationship, building this relationship, as well as working on the more public aspect of your life, your career, your finances, your public image, your reputation. So I feel like it has been kind of a, a hard process. And I'm also feeling like this person might not have understood all the work that you put in, okay? So I do see two people who are very, very career oriented. And um, if you have children, if you have a family, if you have you know a solid relationship with this type of a person, I feel like you were care worried about your 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 work and your reputation and your uh, your finances. They have their own things that they're worried about, and it's also the same thing. And when two people are really really busy, when two people it's um, like are just very busy at work, it's really hard to make time to really enjoy each other's company. That's what I'm feeling. So I feel like, you know, work, finances, career responsibilities really got in the way. And I feel like there might have been times where things were a little bit stressful between you and this person, okay? There might have been arguments, there might have been temper flare-ups, there might have also been situations that they, they start out very, very small and somehow they kind of escalate and, and get out of control. And what I'm feeling is there is a resolution coming into the picture here possibly an apology coming through from this person okay whereas they thought that you might not have um, um, appreciated them or might have taken them for granted or you might not have felt you know um, connected to them or you might not have given them that emotional support or even just the emotional um, might not have fed their emotional needs. I feel like they're coming around and they're starting to see all the things that you put into the relationship, all the things that you do that you don't really talk about. You just do things that needs to be done. You do things and you provide love and support in a very material, in a very straightforward, in a very tangible way. So what they were probably wanting from you was, you know, the, the, the verbal affirmations like, oh, you look really attractive today, or I really appreciate um, you taking care of the kids, or I really appreciate you, you know, taking my car to, um, to the repair shop, or I really appreciate everything that you do. So I feel like they're looking for more of that verbal confirmation. But I feel like the, the way that you have uh, behaved in the past you do things for them. 
okay whatever you saw that needed to be done you did it and and so you showed your love in a more tangible way and they were expecting it more in a uh, verbal way but i feel like they're wisening up and they're coming around to a situation and they are seeing a situation in more of like a totality type of a way so they're growing knight of cups to the king of cups their emotional state is growing they're looking at this situation in a more holistic manner and i feel like you know in the past if there has been criticism if they have been faulting you for things now they're coming in and they're starting to see it in totality and they're starting to see that you know what the tourist person is really putting in the work and is really you know trying they're they're putting in the effort um i also see a situation where somebody is a little bit bored of the monotony in the relationship as well okay is this going to stand the test of time on the one hand i feel like there might have been some major major shakeups okay we have the tower here and then we have as well the hermit which indicates to me there was some major major reassessment needing to look at a situation very thoroughly needing to look at a situation to see like are we on the same page there might have been some arguments regarding the give and take in this relationship and I do feel this person feels a little bit neglected in the relationship, okay? So you might have been off busy doing your own thing. They were doing their own thing too, but as the nature of a water sign is, they need a little bit more of that connection from you. They need a little bit more time together. They need a little bit more togetherness in order for them to feel connected to you. And without that, because, you know, things were really busy for you, um, I see a lot of catch-up work that you're doing and because of that you might not have been able to give them the time the energy or even um, in the way or in the amount of attention that they need okay so you're you're not able to give them the proper attention that they needed and I feel like these issues are being addressed or have been addressed and I feel like, you know, two people are coming together trying to make amends, okay? On the other hand, I see as well an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I see Gemini energy coming through very strongly. We have here the lovers. This is the card of Gemini. The Ace of Swords. I feel for many of you... Um, and you could be single or you could be in a relationship, but I definitely feel there's somebody coming in that is um, speaking to you, communicating with you. And I feel that they're giving you, it, it's, it's almost like something that is very tempting, a temptation coming through. And I feel like it's an air sign energy. And this person has a very childlike energy. And I feel like air sign, so Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra, as well as a Leo energy as well. So this person has um, a very childlike, innocent, um, straightforward, you know, they, they don't really have a filter when they talk. Not in a bad way. I just feel like they're very, very truthful, very honest with their feelings. They're not somebody that keeps scores. It's not like, you know, oh, you called me yesterday. So today I'm going to call you or you didn't respond to my uh, text yesterday. So I'm, go I'm going to ghost you. I don't feel that they do that. I feel like they're very expressive when it comes to what they want. They're very truthful and very, very honest and in a way, very endearing and childlike. And you would feel like you don't have to watch yourself when you're with this person. Like you can trust this person. You know that they've got your best interests at heart. When they say something, you don't have to play the guessing game. You can take whatever they say at face value, which is it runs counter to this um, water sign where everything that they say might be a little bit more loaded okay it, it might be loaded with meanings with um ulterior motives with like it's almost like this dance like um i'm not really here to review all of my cards you show me your cards and then i'll, I'll show you mine so i feel like you know this communication is very very straightforward what you see is what you get whereas this communication here with this water sign 
it is a little bit it's it meanders it's a little bit curvy they might throw you curveballs and what they say versus what they mean sometimes these two things don't match up so I, I definitely feel there is a juxtaposition in the ways in which you're dealing with two people possibly and the communication style is just very very different um, in other areas of your life what I feel is you know once again that whole image about things coming to fruition there has been some major major restructuring when it comes to work so I don't know if some people I, I, I don't know if there has been like a not to sound dramatic but um, some type of a reprisal some type of an investigation some type of a situation where somebody is being um, investigated somebody's under performance review somebody's behavior in the workplace might not have been appropriate and so they're undergoing it's like walking around on eggshells there they might be on a performance plan and they might have to pass probation or they might be on a performance plan pending re-examination of their performance so I feel like somebody might have done things incorrectly or done things and now they're under review so there's a situation that might have been quite stressful in the past coming through and I almost feel like it kept you I mean, you. I, I feel like you were aware of it. I don't feel it was happening to you. I feel like you were aware of it. And then I also feel like you don't want to have any part, you, you don't want to be a part of it. So you kept your nose to the grindstone, okay? You minded your own business. You took care of your things. You didn't spread your energy around trying to catch the latest gossip. But I feel like information comes to you regardless because this seems like it's a big deal let me move the cards over so you can see so this situation whatever the internal investigation or whatever whoever is being um, review or under review for their performance in the workplace or their conduct or their behavior I feel like nonetheless you hear about it because you know it's a it's a big deal and so everyone is putting their best foot forward trying to be on their best behavior things are unearthed and everyone feels like they have to, you know, uh, obey, do things by the book, do things in a clear manner, be very above board, be very transparent in all of their activities. So everything is like accounted for and everything has to be um, done in a procedurally correct way. And then as a result of it, I'm sensing that, you know, you kept your nose to the grindstone, you, you minded your own business, you kept going and not getting distracted by the rumors and the gossip and everything that's happening around the work environment. And you got things done, whereas other people got distracted and then they start doubting themselves. Like, is this the correct way or is this not the correct way? And I feel like they might have cut corners in the past. And so this is coming as a huge shock and a huge surprise for them. And now they feel like they need to step up their game and do things properly, whereas I feel like many of you have done things properly from the very beginning, from the, the, from the start. And then as a result of it, you've never had to worry, like, am I under investigation? Everything that you have done seems to me to have been above board. And so now you don't have to deal with the consequences. Okay. Which is good. So I feel like, you know, this, um, investigation this internal restructuring it needs to happen so the process might have been a little bit discombobulating a little bit destabilizing but it needed to happen to clear away the riffraff to clear away the weak links to clear away the deadwood so that the organization can move forward with people who are better workers or the organization can wean out elements that might have been problematic or systems or procedures or policies that might not have been uh, worthwhile to implement or pursue so whatever happened just know that better things are being rebuilt okay whatever is not working it's being closely scrutinized and examined so if we know something is not working we find solutions and so whatever is rebuilt 
on top of it is going to be a lot better okay a lot more I feel uh, successful okay so the Sun card underneath the seven of Pentacles indicates to me hard work definitely paying off for many of you hard work is really really paying off okay so I see many of you like I mentioned before that sunflower it's got like a human face it has eyes and it's really happy and it's tall like it's it's um is taller than all of the other plants in the garden it's getting a lot of sunlight and it's really really happy so i feel many of you are bringing forth something that you have created or being really 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 proud of your accomplishments mainly because you see physical tangible results i'm seeing many of you if you have children your children are like um top of their class i'm seeing as well you know the the spelling bee the whole garden bees insects um imagery is coming to mind um somebody's getting recognition getting medals getting awards um i feel like you know if you have been coaching people they're getting a lot of success too so you're diligently coaching them or teaching them or showing them how to do something and they're doing things properly and you spend a lot of time you spend a great deal of time nurturing caring for tending to a situation or a person and in particular if you deal with children and i feel like all your hard work is paying off not only are you receiving like thanks and you know gratitude from the people that you're helping but you're seeing their success and their physical success is like a, a testament it's something that's measurable it's something that's concrete it's something that exists in the physical world you're able to see it you're able to experience it and you're able to you know finally get that confirmation that i'm doing the right thing i'm on the right page people might have told me that you know it was just a thankless job but you're starting to see that no it's not just a thankless job there is merit in it and i'm going to continue on my path and not have to doubt my intuition anymore um honestly i do feel like uh when it comes to finances there might be some repairs that are needed in your home i don't feel that it is uh, catastrophic okay this is something that you still have time to plan for and i feel like car maintenance as well as roofing foundations um exterior i'm seeing of a physical like uh, an apartment a house if you own property um if you own boats if you own like cars i feel like things that might be needs to be maintained and i feel like it's coming as a surprise okay and so try to save up some money shift some money around okay five of pentacles feeling this situation where there might be um financial lack okay um i feel like you might need to shift some money around in order to make ends meet in order to make do with the repairs the maintenance the unexpected expenditures that you might not have properly planned for so i i do see this element um this card came out here with the king of pentacles as well as a um the four of cups so I feel like there is a relationship partner in your life who is no longer um, experiencing that emotional connection with you. They're, they're distancing themselves or you're no longer feeling the passion in this relationship. You might be distancing yourself. I feel like they really still love you and the relationship needs some work. There should be some shifts in the way in which you c communicate and there should be as well um, fixing, you know, that, that can be done, tweaking that can be done in this relationship. Um, but I feel many of you might be financially linked up with a person and you're also contemplating as well you know if we were to separate what's going to happen so i do see discussions or even thoughts about you know assets being divided between two people should we continue on the same course who's going to get the house who's going to get the kids so there's some uh thoughts racing through your head like is this something that's possible to do am i going to be financially okay if we were to divvy up our assets how are things going to look for me if I don't have this person in my life? So I feel like you're going through the motions. You have thoughts about it, but I don't feel like you're executing and, and, and um, implementing 
these things okay so it's not like you're going to see a lawyer and talking and ask them questions about your financial future i don't see that but i feel like you have been thinking about it i do see a uh, an element here of temptation okay temptation outside of a relationship and this could be from your end or i, I feel it's coming through i i feel like somebody is not feeling appreciated or they might feel like they're uh, just going through the motions in a relationship as well. And there might be outside temptation. There might be outside temptation. I'm seeing there's somebody in your work environment and I, I'm sensing that you might need to be a little bit careful about workplace romances, okay? ace of cups three of pentacles okay people being a little bit envious or as i'm sensing workplace romances workplace connections romantic connections in the work environment you want to keep that you know very very private you want to keep it secret if you need to i see things um possibly coming to light as well we are moving into Mercury retrograde period. So you want to be extra careful with this situation. And then I'm also feeling as well. Um, keep your, your ideas, keep yourself busy, keep your, your head down and focus on you and then not spread your energy too thin. Don't listen to the rumblings on the ground. Don't listen to the office. Um, gossip and and you know the the office politics the maneuvering keep yourself away from that and don't get bogged down in that negative space where there's gossip where there's back and forth and bickering and you know so and so doesn't like this other group like that that whole click mentality okay keep your energy very very buoyant and pure and elevate yourself above all of that Otherwise, your focus, your energy is going to be pulled in a different direction and you have a lot of success in the picture. So you don't need to be bogged down by that. I do feel here uh, there is somebody that you really, really care for. Okay. Communication has not been great. Three of Pentacles is about compromise, collaborating, working together um, towards a common purpose. When it's in the reverse, creative differences shows up. When it's in the reverse, I also feel like, you know, lack of direction when it comes to how to move things forward, okay? And then I also see as well, this church imagery. Um, for some of you, religious, cultural, family expectations are between you and the person that you like could be very very different it could be like as glaring as night and day and so you don't you, you might really like them you might be extremely physically attracted to them okay the lovers with the devil this is like really really intense chemistry that you have with another person they really like you Taurus they they really like you this is a love offer but it's also like they're bringing their best to the relationship they're very innocent and pure as well. And I feel like, you know, you're really happy around this specific person. But I'm also seeing this element here of one person might even, you know, want marriage. The other person might not. One person might want to live here. The other person wants to live elsewhere. There might be a little bit of a distance between the two of you. But I'm seeing a lot of... Um, cultural religious factors religious comes up cultural religious factors affecting the relationship so some of you might be in a relationship with someone and um it's expected of you like culturally or religiously not to get divorced okay but the other person might not be feeling the relationship anymore you're not feeling the relationship anymore and so you're trying to decide like do we just stay can we um Can we just shake off years of religious responsibilities or expectations in order to go our separate ways? Is that fair for our family? Is that also in alignment with our personal religious beliefs, okay? 
so that's what I'm feeling. It's it's like a lot of expectations um, that have been kind of uh, keeping you in one place. You're feeling that these things don't matter anymore because you want more abundance, you want more happiness, and you want to do to to live your life the way that you want to be able to freely express yourself and to be able to you know be real with what makes you happy and you're starting to feel the the weight of these expectations cultural or otherwise social cultural or social or even family expectations and um for many of you it's almost like a uh, it makes you feel really proud to be able to uphold tradition but on the other hand I also feel like you know you you have a little bit of a wild streak that might have been suppressed for quite some time you know you were always the responsible one the diligent one the one that listens to everybody uh, not the maverick and the trailblazer but I feel like this wild streak within you that has been kind of suppressed it's coming out and it's it's kind of like you know you're waving that flag for this month like here I am come to me you know and I feel like you're you're starting to feel that you want to live a more authentic life and you want to do things that actually makes you happy and not have to worry about these other expectations that are imposed upon you. Um, so I hope that is helpful for you, um, Taurus. And you know, this is a, a really, really good month. I, I just feel like February has been problematic for a lot of the signs. But this is a really, really good month where we kind of start to, to see things um, that we've worked on. Is it feasible? Is it panning out? Is it coming to fruition? You start to see the physical, tangible results. And then I'm also seeing like, you know, you will know if you're on the right path. You will know, you will get some positive confirmation, physical confirmation, whether or not it's the right thing to do, okay? So, lots of work in store, but I feel like you can pretty much, you know, you have more leisure time, more leisure activities, more time for leisure activities, excuse me. Um, just make sure that if you have big ticket items that need to be fixed, if you can delay it, I feel like May might be a better time. Just start saving up for it and implement these things in um, either the very end of April when we are out of the retrograde period or the May time frame. For those of you who have been delayed on major repairs like four months ago, these things are creeping in as well. And it's just the nature of Mercury in retrograde. Whatever we avoided doing, you know, in the past retrograde cycle, which is about three to four months ago, it's coming up for re-examination. But I feel like, you know, you might want to wait until the end of April or early May to take care of these things. Or better yet, if you're watching this early, take care of them now while we are still in the February time frame. Okay, before we hit um i believe it is march 5th okay so i will talk to you guys soon and i wish you all the best for the month of march um for those who are interested in a reading i do have uh somebody that um i highly trust she is a psychic outside of california i've left a link to her description uh, i'm sorry i left the link to her scheduling website in the description box below if you'd like to book a reading for yourself or for somebody that you know i highly highly recommend her okay I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.